Okay. So, okay, uh, with your permission, I'll move to the second question, which was to disclose the location of the home. Uh, I own a home in Lovington on Kabasiran Avenue. Uh, and uh, the question was attached to whether I have owned a property in Afralti. Um, Afralti is one of the intergovernmental institutions that is affiliated with the Communications Authority of Kenya. So I do not own a property in Afralti. I own a property in Lovington uh, in, on Kabasiran Avenue. Maybe chair, if chair allows, uh, yes, uh, is, was that property at any one time part of uh, the assets owned by Afralti? Um, no, it wasn't. It was part of the properties that were owned by Communications Authority of Kenya, properties that were disposed in a transparent process about uh, maybe 10 years ago, and uh, this was one of um, the properties. So it is property that you own, that you bought from CA? Yes. CCK then. Uh, CCK then. CCK yes. then. At the time, were you working for CCK? Yes. Uh, at what uh, level? I was an assistant director. How many of you bought those properties from the former CCK and who financed the purchase of those properties? I wouldn't speak for the others, but uh, no, I'm aware... I asked how many of uh, the staff, former CCK staff, yes. purchased those properties and for yourself yes. of course i don't expect you to speak for others who financed okay. or how was it how was the purchase financed okay so these properties were about five in diverse locations in nairobi and for us to be able to purchase this property we got financing from the housing finance corporation of kenya so i'll move on to the next question uh which was about uh, teso south uh, which county this is. Uh, I may not know which exactly which county this is, but one thing I can assure you is that I have been up yeah. and down. Yes. No, chair, just on that issue of the Afrati, was the cell of CCK, was the cell within, within the, was the cell supposed to be only for the people working for CCK or for peop also people from outside could participate? Was it advertised? How was it? Give us a small preview of... Uh, and even as you answer that, if you allow me, I, I, could you be aware that uh, certain cadre of staff were locked out of this very lucrative scheme of purchasing these properties? And that uh, some of you who were have, who have favored went ahead to put up uh, properties, I mean, to develop properties within the facilities owned by Telecom Kenya or CCK, I'm sorry. So maybe I can clarify the context. Uh, for these properties to be sold, they were valued by the Ministry of Lands and Housing then, and they were given a market value. And under the rules of disposal of properties then, the first right of refusal was granted to the occupant of the house. So I got this opportunity because I happened to be living in that house. I am aware that there are staff whose houses could not be disposed because of the location in which those houses were, so that some houses happened to be inside or in the middle of property or within the compound, such that to sell that house would mean subdividing the, the property in a manner that would really um, diminish the rest of the property in order to access those houses. And because of that, I am aware that there is one or two that could not be disposed in the, because of that kind of impact that it would have on the rest of the land, but all others were disposed in that manner. Chair, Chair. Yeah. <coughs> so the, the, those who could not buy are the ones who are on the, on the CCK side of uh, Wayakiwe? Yes. Uh, because Kabasiran is across on the other side, yes. to the side of Kianda School? Yes. So your property is now across the road? Yes. Okay. Chair? Yes. Uh, I would like to understand uh, just following up, uh, what was the reason for the sale and uh, what was the value of that property when you bought it? Um, the reason for the sale was in keeping with uh, a government move to get out of non-core uh, operations and therefore houses and the like except for critical buildings were being disposed and this is how we ended up buying it and if I recall correctly the price at that point was about 38 million shillings. That was the 